lots of museums, tasty food, and art for days, Florence is a city that without doubt blew my mind. After spending a day in Milan, I headed to Florence where I stayed with a friend who was studying abroad. I spent my days walking around and admiring all of the art the city has to offer. Waking up in Florence felt so surreal. It found its way to my heart with its cobblestone streets and old architecture. My friend had class this day. So we grabbed a quick breakfast at Che Cafe and then we went our separate ways. I'm just gonna walk and explore the city. I had a croissant for breakfast and a cappuccino. I'm really happy. It's really cute. Look. The first museum I visited in Florence and overall the first museum I've ever been to in Europe was the Uffizi Gallery. I can't describe how magical it felt when I first stepped into the museum rooms. Something about being in a place full of sculptors and art created by Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo felt incredibly surreal. During the pandemic, I discovered a profound love for the Italian language. I had always wanted to learn Italian, but I never had the time. I remember ordering a book and for the first month I would sit in the afternoons and really invest myself into grasping the most important grammar and vocabulary. I became obsessed with the idea of traveling to Italy, but I never thought it would be so soon. After Fishy, I ended up having lunch by myself and eating one of the best slices of pizza I've ever had. The place is That's huge for me. Oh my god. I headed to Brandy and bought myself a sweatshirt that said Florence. The prettiest dogs I have ever seen in my entire life were in Florence. You'll see clips of lots of random dogs that I couldn't help but record whenever I stumble upon them. It's 4 p.m. and it's so dark. I ended up meeting my friend for dinner after she was done with class. The next day, I woke up to a huge surprise in my face. I thought I had hurt myself because I slept with my rings on, but it turns out it was something else. Guys, look what happened to me. I went to the pharmacy twice and ended up not doing much this day. At night, we went to watch the World Cup game to a bar because Mexico was playing. We really thought a miracle was going to come true, but we ended up still losing. Yeah, I saw. My eye is looking a little bit better. It lasted for a day, and they told me it was because of an Italian bug that it beat me overnight. Yesterday was horrible. I didn't do anything. I didn't want to leave the apartment. This looked like someone had punched me. We're on our way to Paris. We're gonna stay there for the weekend. Right now, it's only me and my friend, and then a couple of people are gonna meet us there. So yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> We're walking to the train station. 
First we're going to pizza. Pizza. First we're going to pizza. And then from there we'll go to Paris. After spending the best weekend ever in Paris, we headed back to Florence on Sunday. One of my friends needed to be in Florence by Monday morning or else she was going to fail her course because of absences. We had booked train tickets for 10.30 which was the last ride of the day, but our plane ended up arriving late so we lost our train. We found tickets for a bus ride but it didn't leave until 2am. The train station was closed at this point and it was raining. So we asked the receptionist at the hotel that was in front of the station if she would let us stay there until our bus took off. We ended up arriving in Florence at around 3 a.m. This is the best cinnamon roll I've ever had in my entire life. The next day, I couldn't believe I had been in Florence for about 4 days and still had not seen Michelangelo's David. I found this record store which I thought was pretty cool, I didn't buy anything but I ended up spending around an hour just looking through records and loving the vibe overall. Just double and dabble a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, I couldn't leave Florence without trying Alantico Minayo. Uh. 
When I kiss you, I get a spark Your body a work of art Horny thoughts after dark Used to stay up late to just talk We was moving fast, trying not to get caught Damn, your skin so soft Let me open up your heart Cause life too short till death do its part uh, Knew it from the start You be the one I'm pushing cards with In the supermarket You know I love this It's my last day in Florence I want to try some gelato And I want to go eat and explore Wanted to explore the little towns around Florence Throughout my stay here because I've been staying with a friend and she's starting abroad. It's been so much fun. I felt like I'm a student too even though I'm not. But I didn't. I literally spent every day in Florence. Since this was my last day in Florence, I decided I wanted to check off the last things of my bucket list. I had to go back for another cinema roll, so I had lunch at Meraleuca and then I headed off to Piazza Michelangelo. I wanted to visit Bobolli Gardens, but I decided against it because it was early December and Versailles had been a letdown. I spent an hour alone overlooking the city and contemplating life, feeling pretty nostalgic about my time in Florence now that it was ending. I think staying with friends who were studying abroad really made me experience Florence as if it were my home. It was such a different feeling compared to the other places where I went with a vacation mindset instead. Florence is absolutely beautiful. It was December 7, so Christmas celebrations were starting. Lots of Santas and Christmas music on the street. As a goodbye dinner, my friends took me to Trattoria Sassa where I had the best pasta I had during my whole trip. Stay tuned for my next vlogs where I visit Rome, Barcelona and Paris.